Namaskar, my dear friends, as you are all aware that Suramochana, our organization has been celebrating the birth centenary of the legendary master, my Guruji, late Pandit A. Kanan, to all throughout this year. We are going to end this birth centenary with a mega festival with all great musicians, masters, wonderful musicians and young talents. And we are proud to have them with us to be able to participate in the festival. Today, we have two wonderful musicians with us who is part of the festival. First, Sushuman Laha in, in guitar. Namaskar, Shuman Bhai. And we have a wonderful, wonderful master of Indian tabla. I should not mention the tabla because I regard him as a musician because he is mastered in various subjects. He should, he's an exact, exact term should be Nayak for him. So Pandit Obhijit Banerjee. Namaskar. Obhijitda is the master in tabla and violin in vocal also. So let me first come to Suman Bhai. So Suman Bhai, you were from an illustrious family where your grandfather was a great actor and all these things going on in your family. And how did you come to music? Was there a uh, history of music that is being, uh, was there in your family? Yeah, my mother, you know, she sings, but not, not as a professional. Hmm. And also my grand uncle, Sri Nodu Mollik, who, who was the friend of Pandit Ravi Shankarji and Ustad Ali Agur Khan Sahib. So musicians were coming constantly yeah. now. And somehow it influenced me more. Mm. I, I saw like many uh, actors and actresses, mm. but I, I lost my grandfather, you know, when, when I was like very young. Yeah. So the music influenced me more, more, more than the acting. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing. But uh, from whom you did start your learning? I learned from several people. Hmm. I started with Ravinde, who hmm. was the brother of um, the, what's his name? The famous flute, flute player. Anil anyway, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm telling, I, I just forgot his name. So I, I, I started with him. After that, I learned from Pandit Borun Pal yeah. a little bit, and then from Pandit Monilal Nag a little mm -hmm. bit. And mm -hmm. then I learned from Pandit Shamal Chattopadhyay for a long time, till now. Mm -hmm. also, 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 I learned vocal music from my Gurma and from other people. And also I learned from Pandit Dilip Patro, the vocalist. Mm -hmm. So you actually, uh, Shamul Kaka's tradition is the Davir Khan's tradition, which is mostly a, uh, will be a Drupad style of playing. Drupad. So your style is mainly based on not the Khyal style, but the Drupad style mostly. Yeah, mainly, mainly, mainly the Drupad style also. I learned um, vocal Drupad from mm. Pandit in Malo Dev. Okay, okay, wonderful. Uh, so oh. that's that's the thing. <laughs> Let me come to uh, Obhijit Dada. Dada, one thing I I must uh, I'm very eager to know. So how did you manage to learn all the three subjects? You learned uh, violin from uh, Shishir Kanadha Choudhury. And none other than Ma on Purna Devi, which is an amazing opportunity for any musicians to learn from. And and again, vocal music from Pandit Ajay Chakravarti Ajay Kaka. How did you manage to do all, all, all these sort of things? Well, I learned it, but I do mainly tabla. So that's my main subject. Although I do love to sing. Violin, um, I learned it because uh, when I started quite seriously with Ajay Dab, <clears throat> because, you know, I uh, started tabla from my childhood. And then what happened is that uh, <clears throat> I started singing also. 
So, um, um, uh, I used to sing, and then uh, one day Guruji Gyan Babu uh, told me that you sing quite well, so why don't you sing a little bit? I, I, I started singing with him. And then he said that, you know, oh, you sing very good, so you I am sending it, uh, sending you to Ajay Das, Ajay Chakravarti. Mm-hmm. At that time, I never knew, I didn't know who was Ajay Chakravarti because he was also not not known at all. Mm. So it was even before his first see, uh, cassette, which cassette, came out. Cassette, yeah. Uh, before, before that, I mean, long before that. So he was a thin guy. He was he used to live in ITC Sangeet Research Academy. And um, in you know in the small uh, you know yeah, two, uh, two got small quarter uh, yeah 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 so <clears throat> and uh, Koshiki was not even born born he was only time. married yeah yeah so at that time um, I was I started going to him and then after the what happened I had some vocal problem you know in vocal this thing. <clears throat> So I went to uh, Ajada sent me to Abilal Mukherjee. Abilal Mukherjee, yeah. very, uh, very famous uh, ENT Denji. specialist. Uh, so he said that you know, uh, well you can. Uh, I mean there is a you know you have to take penicillin, blah blah blah, and there is no guarantee that it will not revive again. So if you want to uh, take music as a profession, uh, there is a small doubt whether the vocal cord will again make any problem mm. or not. I cannot give you the guarantee. Mm. So then I was a little frightened. Then I started learning violin that day only. I started, I went to see Siddhi and I uh, asked, and I can I, she never knew me. So and she said, okay, come. And I started uh, learning violin. And um, <clears throat> that's how the violin started. So vocal music and tabla was almost going side by side most side of the time. Uh, although I was more serious in tabla, but vocal music also. But violin started, I started violin because of this, because mm-hmm. of my inability to sing or I had a problem with vocal uh, music. So I went to, although I still continued in vocal music, but I um, started violin and quite seriously, I started learning from series Shishiddi. And then, uh, fortunately, I met uh, Nikhil Banerjee at that time. Uh-huh. I mean, Pandit Nikhil Banerjee. Uh-huh. And I, because of him, uh, I got a chance uh, to go to Srimati Arnapurna Devi's house uh-huh. with Bachchuda. Bachchuda is the son of Amit, I mean, uh, son of Hiren Rai, Hiren Rai. Uh, the okay. yeah. famous sitar maker. Uh, sitar maker. Uh-huh. So Bachuda used to learn from uh, Anupurna Devi. So Bachuda used to love me very much. One day he took me. Mm. Actually, there is a very funny story I'm telling you. Uh, once uh, Raiz Khan Sab needed two sitars from Calcutta from Hiran Rai. So mm. Hiran Rai said that I need somebody to go to Bombay with the two sitars. I said, uh, okay, I am the person because I will get to see Raiz Khan Sahib in front. You know, it's there's a there's not much chance. I never knew that I'm going to play with him in in some uh, after after some time. I I didn't know that nobody knows the future. So I just uh, went there and I saw Raiz Khan Sahib. I was fascinated with uh, Hira in one year. And at that time, he was a very stylish man. You know? Stylish person. Right. So he. Uh, you know, he invited me in Centur Hotel at that time and uh, you know, offered me a cup of tea with some croissant. And, you know, it was a very nice, uh, he never remembered, but I always remembered. And I told him. You know, so what happened after, at that time, Bachuda was there. So Bachuda said, that, why don't you come and meet uh, Ma on the Purna Devi? I said, okay. But, uh, so I went there and then she told me that, you know, you learn violin from Sishir. I said, yes. Uh, so can you play? I said, uh, I just played a little bit. And she said that, okay, so learn nicely. I said, I want to learn from you also. She said, no, 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 <laughs> you are, you learn from CC, it's okay. I said, no, no, why not? I, I come to Bombay so many times. My sister lives here. If I can say, so, okay. She said that, okay, uh, after some time, if you think, if you are continuing, then you come to me. And then after maybe two years, I, I was still continuing with CCD. And then I asked CCD, CCD said, that's a great fortune that she 
gave you access to her house. Yes. So you can just go. So I was very fortunate. I I went there. I I rang the bell. She opened the door, and I started learning little bit. But then after that, I got very much involved in tabla and the profession, and I could not continue violin that much. So I told her that look, I don't want to waste your time. So mm. I want to come here sometimes, but I just cannot continue with the violin because because of my tour, I cannot. Uh, take my violin all the time along with tabla because tabla being a very heavy instrument, being carrying and all these things. So I used to tour a lot. So I somehow I discontinued violin for some time. But that was my reason to go to Simuti Anupurna Devi or Ma Anupurna Devi. And I am very fortunate that she wrote me some of some letters. You know, Abhijit, please come. I want to see you. Pishi, uh-huh. I want to come. And I have kept those letters, at least three, four letters. So she used to somehow love me and write to me, please come uh, next month this time for three days. I want to see you and you know spend time with you. And I used to go there. That was my great fortune. Great, 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 great fortune and great. Nice story. story. Nice story. Yeah. Well, uh, Shuman, I am coming to you. So sure. So usually I. Although we say you are you are a guitar player, but the, the the thing that you play, the instrument that you play, is not doesn't look like a guitar. It's is your own innovation, or it's most like a vina, or it's a concept from that you have taken from Vichitra Vina or something. Can we explain your instrument that you play? Yeah, I started with uh, slide guitar. Slide guitar. And slowly, I was much more interested uh, in Drupad music. Hmm. And then my Guruji Pandit Shamal Shamal Chattopadhyay, he he started you know teaching me the Drupad style, how to do the alap, and you know the jor, the various parts of alap, mm-hmm. the the various parts of jor like alap and jor like fifteen kinds of you know and their names and their things. Slowly, I was you know getting interested with mm-hmm. the Vin Karbaj. Then, then I started uh, hearing the music, uh, the Vichitra Vina, and slowly I thought that you know, I'm playing this instrument. It's just the structure is guitar, but you know nothing is like guitar. Yes. The string arrangement, the sympathetics, the chikaris. It's this. This is not guitar. So from that point, I had one idea that why don't we make the instrument? Yeah, but by that time, I I thought that I should start the Vichitravina. Okay. Then then my guru said, no 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 no, you don't have to play Vichitravina. So that chapter closed. Then uh, my uh, instrument maker, Bhavashindu Vishas. I, I told him that Bhavashinduda, I have an idea. So I draw one structure that mm. is it possible to make an instrument like this? He said, oh, maybe, may not be. Then then I made one instrument from another people, mm. another maker. The sound was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> After that, Bhavashindu that take like few years mm. to make this instrument. Mm. So now it looks like Vina and mm. uh, it sounds like Vina. So mm. I don't call it guitar. Sure. I, I just call it Vina. So many people, they told me, oh, you should put some name. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't put any name because all the string instrument originally came from Vina. Mm. So I just you know, call it Vina. So that's... That's the story behind that. Yeah. And what is the uniqueness of the instrument? Just can you explain to us the uniqueness of the instrument, how it is different from the guitar? First is the structure. That's structure. Right. And then guitar has like two separate parts. One is like the body. Hmm. And another is the neck. Yeah. It's connected together. Hmm. But this instrument, my instrument is made from a single piece of wood. And and it has the hollow hmm. from 
top to bottom, mm. like the sitar and saru. Mm. So the depth of the sound is, I think, it's better than. It's uh, more of guitar. the sustain. You are, you get more of the sustenance on that on the instrument. Yeah, more more sustain and more depth. More depth. And, and it, perhaps easy to do meets and all those kind of alankars maybe that you usually do in Drupal. Like, you know, every instrument having like pros and cons, like advantage and disadvantages. So mm -hmm. with the slide instrument, we can slide yeah. like seven, eight, ten notes, no problem. Okay. <clears throat> but also we don't have the frets. Frets, yeah. So it's difficult to play the tans or mm -hmm. some angs like Krintan Jamjama like sitar. Right. It's not possible. And Sarod, they play like this and we mm -hmm. play like this. So the bowls are a little bit different okay. so the, about the mechanism. But you know, the, rag, the ragas and raginis and like other things, the talas are the same for every instrument. Hmm. Okay, that's great. Obhijit Dara, so now my question to you is like, I think the last tour of Nik Pandit Nikhil Banerjee, you toured with him. And, and he loved you so and much. It. And I think mm. 19, 1984, it may be, you toured with yes, uh, yes, Nikhil yes. Banerjee. So your experience with, with him. First, my first experience is that I, I was not aware of the whole fact that what I'm doing. I was too young to realize what I'm going through. And uh, because, uh, you know, Nikhil Banerjee, let me tell you how yeah. I got introduced to Nikhil Banerjee. Yeah. There was an uh, organization called Suchandam. Gotcha. They used to do, it was it was in Jodhpur Park and mm. Buddha Kaka was involved there. Okay. So Buddha Kaka's one, uh, uh, he's one of his friend and, you know, family member uh, used to host that concert in the house. So, <clears throat> Buddha Kaka uh, invited me to play a solo, a small solo. After that, Kumar Mukherjee's song was there. Oh, okay. Kumar Kaka used to sing. Uh, I mean, was supposed to sing. So, my solo was there. I, I sang. And there, uh, you know, this Amitra, this Bachuda came mm -hmm. uh, with Amlan Dasgupto, one of the professors of uh, Jadapur University. He used to love Tabla. Actually, Amlanda came. Uh, with Bachuda. And Bachuda. then uh, we, and then I played there and Anindu Banerjee, Ali Abur Khan's students, they were, you know, friends. So they came to listen to me. And then after that, they uh, somehow Bachuda went to Nikhil Banerjee's house and told something, which I don't know. What happened? I uh, did the concert and then I came back uh, to my house. Uh, and next day I went to college. I was a student of Scottish Church College. And I came back from the college at about four o'clock. And my uh, my mother told me, Nikhil Banerjee called and told you to call him. So I said that, uh, which Nikhil Banerjee? He said, I, I don't know, but I think uh, the Sita player Nikhil Banerjee. I said, you have gone off your head. I mean, Nikhil Banerjee, Sita player Nikhil Banerjee, he, he, he doesn't know my number and he doesn't want, I mean, why he will call me? He said, okay, fine. But he gave me the number. So I just called him back. And luckily he picked up the phone and he told me, is this Abhijit? I said, yes. I mean, I said, is this Nikhil? I'm sorry. I said that, is this Nikhil Banerjee? <laughs> he said, yes. I said, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, I mean, so you called me, uh, what is the reason? He said that, you know, I play sitar and <laughs> I heard that you play tabla. So maybe we can practice sometimes. Uh, yeah, yeah. I said, I mean, are you the Nikhil Banerjee who, uh, I mean, he said, yes, I, I play sitar. He used to talk like that. <laughs> so then I really got nervous. At that moment, I got now, oh my God, with whom I'm talking? I mean, it's it's too much. I mean, uh, how to deal with this now? Uh, uh, so I said that, you know, yeah, I, it will be, I'll be fortunate to go. But uh, can you tell me what time? He said that, well, you are a student of Scottish Church College. I said, yes. So that's a very good college. So don't bunk your college. 
come uh, when there is no college come in the morning i practice from 8 o'clock hmm. to 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock hmm. i said that look uh, i said okay i will come tomorrow so he said that tomorrow there is a college i said there is a college but i will manage no 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 that is not good you know padhai sabse pehle hota hai i said no you know for tomorrow i will manage but let me go i said hmm. okay you know so he said okay come at about 9 o'clock so i went there and that's how i started going to him and then that was the first day i went there and he played three talas with me one was kedar in uh, ek tal another was yaman in uh, tin tal drut and then i think uh, jhinjhoti in uh, rupak or something like that and something was in jhaptal so four talas and then uh, jhala in tin tal and uh, then after that so whenever you get time please come to me but don't bunk your college i said i i thought you know in my mind that you know if i don't bunk the college i will not be able to come to you <laughs> so i have to bunk the college so i went back to parshish college and this amlan das gupta hmm. <clears throat> caught me why you are so late i came at about 2 o'clock because i was and that and on that moment i was flying you know because i i'm coming from somebody's house you know which is kind of dream so yeah. i i was flying so i said that i went to nikhil banerji he said oh he called you i said yes yeah i heard that so oh, what happened i mean is he are you going to i said yeah, yeah sir uh, he told me to come to him many times but how can i in amlan they said you know the college your english honors i'll take care of that your banking classes everything i'll take don't miss that go every day don't <laughs> ever miss that i said okay so that was the support i got and yeah. then after that one fine morning uh, nikhil ji told me that you know uh, anindo is supposed to go there uh, but uh, anindo cannot go so would you like to go with mm. me for two months at mm. least two months two and a half months i said that let me ask my father and i asked my father my father said oh, you shouldn't have asked me you just said yes so i just uh, yeah I, then, then it happened so i came to london i toured with him in austria uh, germany and some of those recordings are available now because that was almost his last tour i didn't know that and then after that um, then i first time i came to america with him i still remember uh, my first concert was in uh, chicago that was heavily raining i i reached there <clears throat> and uh, we were late for 2 hours the flight was late delayed but the hall was full because they were waiting for him to listen to him you know it's a huge hall but so much people i have never seen that and then after that um, i that was uh, uh, the time when uh, in one concert in aliagar college of music swapan the played and i played tanpura mm. and i have still have the photo with me that swapan the playing and nikhil ji playing and i'm playing tanpura it was my great fortune to <clears throat> listen to both of them sitting behind them and i could uh, i could realize what's going on i mean they used to talk in between uh, while playing you know and i was a fortunate person to hear what they are talking you know so because they were good friends yeah. uh so anyway and that was the first time that uh, nikhil ji took me to niagara falls he used to love me very much he told me that you know please um, i will tell you i will take you to niagara falls it's worth seeing so i i saw that he showed me i have some pictures with him in niagara falls and then after that he took me to ali akbar college of music and then after that ali akbar khan sahab's house that mm. was the first time i had the fortune to see ali akbar khan sahab much younger than now and you know he was going for a class at that time and so i met him so nikhil ji too as a kind of um, uh, you the impetus for the for the i mean yeah i mean i mean the thing is that first of all uh, his practice yeah enormous practice every day practice whenever he used to travel still practice then his thoughts about music his vocal music his love for ravindra sangeet his singing of ravindra sangeet all this i uh, 
got to see with my own eyes and I experienced that. He used to love Rabindra Sangeet very much. And at that time, I used to ask him that, you know, uh, Kaku, I used to ask him, Kaku, Kaku, why do you uh, love Rabindra Sangeet? Because, you know, Rabindra Sangeet is something different than, you know, it's uh, kind of uh, no tan and all this kind of thing. How do, he said, you know, you need to grow to to love understand. that music. You need to grow uh, to love and understand that music. He used to sing one song. I mean, He used to sing that very much. Many times he used to sing. Even in that, you know, we are traveling in the train, he used to sing. And he, he was a good singer, not a, not a bad singer. Even and then I have heard Gan Babu was also a very he used to say that students must learn Rabindra Sangeet. He used, he used to love yes. Rabindra Sangeet so much. Yes, yes. And then another thing is that you know Nikhil Banerjee, uh, the Sita had eight pigs. Uh, and one pig was unused. Uh, so not many people know that story. He mm. used to play in seven strings, but once upon a time, he used to play in eight, eight peg wala strings. Later, he closed it. So that one peg, if you if you look at his sitar, you will see that there are eight pegs, but one peg is not stringed. Yeah. So he told me the story. Then he told me the story. There was a uh, thing uh, marked on his sitar. So he told me the story who gave him and how it happened. He played one concert in Italy after Bilayat Khan Sahib and Bilayat Khan Sahib was very rude, I mean, very annoyed and didn't talk to him because Bilayat Khan Sahib used to say that uh, he used to, he has to play at the last, as a last mm -hmm. artist. Mm -hmm. uh, and Nikhilji came late, so the organizer said that you play uh, after Bilayat Khan Sahib. So he didn't take, take the permission and played after the after Bilayat Khan Sahib. So Bilayat Khan Sahib said, okay, Nikhil, I like you very much. I love your music, but you should have asked me before playing that. So that kind of, you know, a lot of stories he told me of old, of Alauddin Khan Sahib, but, and his, um, like, um, I'll tell you one story, um, that in uh, one concert in Germany, he said that I will play Dhamar today. Mm -hmm. You know, you know how to play Dhamar? He said, I know, I know Dhamar. I said, okay, fine. So he started playing Dhamar. And after, 15 minutes, he changed and uh, started playing uh, Tinta. So I felt that he's not happy. And uh, I said, what happened? I mean, he, why he's not happy? And I didn't say anything. And after the concert, he just came out and said, didn't Ganda teach you how to play Dhamar? I said, yeah, I mean, uh, yes, I know Dhamar. I, Dhamar is not kadhete dhete dhar. Dhamar, you have to deal with that. You know, you have to play all this Pakwad style, bada muka bowl. And you are playing all these rupak things in Dhamar. Dhirikete, dhirikete. Uh, you want to show your speed in Dhamar? I mean, you don't know how to deal with that. Tell Ganda, you know, all this kind of... So he was very annoyed. Once upon a, I mean, uh, that was one thing I saw that. So uh, that was a learning experience for me. I immediately come, came back and asked Guruji that, you know, uh, what is Dhamar? He said, uh, then Guruji said that, you know, I have never taught you Dhamar. You know the bowl, but how to deal with Dhamar is a big thing. So let's start Dhamar. Then I thought that, oh, so I did, I thought that I knew Dhamar because I knew the bowl, but yeah. it's not, it's not that. So, and then he taught me that each tal has its personality, like a raga. So you should deal with the raga, with the tala in the same way. So not every rag can go with every tal. Some of the tal will go with some of the ragas because the personalities should match. Hmm. So these are some learning experiences that I got from him. If, apart from his, his clarity of sitar and his, you know, all those things I should not discuss because, you know, that is known to everybody. Yeah. Okay, Ujida, thank you so much for for those informations, wonderful and nice story. very nice story. Now, so really Subhai, uh, we are knowing about you, you knew about your gurus and the learning process that you have gone through. Now, tell you, tell us about your 
uh, uh, journey to USA. How you came to USA and how you did it settle there and, and made an academy and everything. And how did it happen? I was doing music, learning music. Hmm. Still, now I'm learning, you know, the student. It, it never ending process. Hmm. <laughs> it's a never ending process. But, you know, and then also I was doing some other things, some business. Hmm. And playing and doing business, I was thinking sometimes, should I stop music and do the business and then or should I do the music? Because the feelings was coming that, you know, we cannot do two things together. At, at one point, we have to choose one. Mm. So sometimes in late 90s, I, I got an opportunity to go to Europe. Mm. Europe and came back. And after, just after that, after a few months, I got the opportunity to come to US. Mm -hmm. That was in 2000. 2000. So I, I came here, I was doing concerts. Mm. And, and also I got some students. Mm -hmm because nobody was here to teach this instrument indian, indian guitar indian we are in, playing guitar. In, indian indian slide guitar nobody was here to teach yeah and here the western musicians western slide players and mm. like other musicians like the violin the cello they got interested somehow you know uh, maybe uh, he, you know, after hearing my concert, or maybe you know, uh, they loved me. Uh, you know, after after talking to me, <laughs> so I I got a very nice, uh, like in you know, a group of students. Hmm. So after a few months, I went back. Then they they contacted me uh, because th that time the Skype and all these you know um, this. The, the video calls hmm. were not available. Yeah. Again, after like four, three, four months, I, I, I came back to US. Hmm. And when I went back, some of them went back with me to India. They hmm. were there. They, they were there in India for a few months. Then I went to Europe, then again. So I was from 2000 to 2005, I was going and coming back. Then okay. one of the students, unfortunately, he passed away. Mm -hmm. His name was James Perry. So he said, why don't you bring your wife and son? I said, you know, that would be very hard. He said, no, mm -hmm. you, you are doing fine. Maybe, you know, you have to work hard, a little bit struggle, but you can do that. So finally in 2005, I brought my wife and son. So still they are here. My son is in the college. So that's that's the story. And how do you get uh, got in touch with the Cheritos Music Circle, which you belong to now and who you do definitely do a lot of concerts and, on, and you promote Indian classical music there. That's a good thing to do. And so how did it happen? Yeah, Seritos Music Circle, you know, it's it's a pretty old organization. It started sometimes in 70s. <laughs> and like a lot of big musicians, they they, they performed in Seritos Music Circle, like including uh, Pandit Ravi Shankar, Ustad Ali Agwa Khan Shab, Pandit Nikhil Banerjee, yeah, uh, Pandit Balmurali Krishnan ji, Bhimshen Joshi ji, Ustad Bismila Khan sahab, you know, Buddha Ditto Mukhari, Pandit Buddha Ditto Mukhari ji, so lot of like long list. So after that, the person who started the Seritos Music Circle, he got busy with his business. Mm. But somehow he kept alive mm. the organization. 
without any activities he just you know paying the taxes and you know doing all other things hmm. so when i came here in a, and started classes we we met in one concert and he he came and one seat was empty beside hmm. me he said can i sit here i said yes yes please we did know in, uh, each other <laughs> then then he was talking that was not my concert i i went to hear somebody <laughs> so he said oh you play slide guitar veena and also you teach sitar i said yes he said i want to learn slide guitar hmm. i said no problem so one day i went to his house then we ordered one instrument so this thing was going on then at one point i told him that um, his name is pinakin ji pinakin patak he is like my elder brother yeah i said pinakin ji i want to start one organization so do you know any person who can help me uh, yeah. regarding all this in a process and uh, and what are the procedures he says suman ji i have one organization i am not doing anything why don't you take this so everything okay. is ready is ready <laughs> so, so i i i was fortunate enough to involve with the saitos music circle and still yeah. i am trying trying to promote promote it not not only for for me i'm i'm trying to do for the music for yeah. everybody good definitely অভিজিৎ দা দাদা সো জাস্ট বিকজ মাই গুরুজি ওয়াজ সো মাচ অ্যাসোসিয়েটেড উইথ জ্ঞান বাবু সো আই 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 উড লাভ টু আস্ক অ্যাবাউট জার্নি উইথ জ্ঞান বাবু অ্যাজ এ গুরু অ্যান্ড অ্যান্ড হাউ মাচ ইম্পর্টেন্ট ইউ ফিল দ্যাট জ্ঞান বাবু হ্যাজ এন ইনফ্লুয়েন্স অন ইউ অ্যান্ড দ্য গুরু শিষ্য পরম্পরা ওয়ে দ্য মেথড অফ লার্নিং দ্যাট উই গো থ্রু দ্যাট ইউ হ্যাভ গন থ্রু uh did affect your music and in becoming such a wonderful musician of the present days okay uh, before i start with this i just want to tell you this one i w- i also played in serious music circle long time back i think i don't remember the year i was touring with amjad ali khan sir oh. and that was the first time i met pinakin ji he was much younger and i still remember that concert in los angeles anyway so uh, uh, yes uh, you know your guruji's house bokul bagan uh, was a kind of place all the musicians place and everybody used to hub, go there a musical hub ah yes you know and uh, classical musician non, uh, no, not doing classical music anybody who lives in calcutta or comes to calcutta used to go to that place yeah yes your guruji kanan sahab used to call him uh, was somebody who loved everybody and everybody loved him it's because of him because because he used to even i mean we were much young i mean we were nobody to him but still he, he loved you to, so much even he loved you so he, much he loved you that was uh, that's what i'm saying that you know he was he was a kind of person who gave so much opportunity to so many people big small everybody he used to love music he did so much of service to music and my guruji was a, was a very much associated with him and you know somehow he was like a gan baba used to be my guruji used to say he was like a guardian to him he was ah, because yes, guruji like was that. quite well because he was new to kolkata and he didn't do ah. the music scenario there So yeah. that's why Gan Babu used to guide him, and then they were very good friends, very very good friends. Now, that was in between them. They were they were you know in their age group, so I was never in that uh, conversation. But about my Guruji, I used to I I can tell you that because because he was a, a very learned person, was masters in Pali, uh, first class in physics. in english so when i used to go to him it's not only tabla i still remember zubin mehta kam came yeah. at the time to um, india for some shows 
so it was showed in the television so guru ji called me and said that if you are free i am not going there but you know they are going to show it in the television so we can enjoy together zuben mehta's music i said okay so i went there and guru ji opened the television and we it was i was very fortunate that you know i was the only person me mollar guru ji and guru ma we mm. saw that uh, famous concert of zuben mehta and guru ji was explaining look you know this is the this is the linear thing it's going like this is it okay so keep keep with me like that you know so so it's not only music it's the, as a whole human being that guruji uh, used to teach us you know i used to ask him guruji what is the meaning of ubiquitous he said you know suppose ubiquitous pigeons in trafalgar square that's like that you know he was he used to tell me so it's not only music other than music also he used to teach us as a human being as a as a, so, uh, like you know he used to say that you know this concept of tal hmm concept of sur it is prevailing in this world it is there mm. the sur is there you are not mm. creating it you have to be one with that then all the sur will come into you otherwise mm. you know it's if you are this basura means because you are not tuned with the the tune of the world so this kind of philosophical things he used to tell me and um, so because he had all these kind of things so other than tabla and even in the tabla in mm. one bowl what you should look for the story the bowl how you pronounce that what are the other things that you look for a bowl or a tal which should go with the ragas or you know the personality of the tal personality of the bowl personality of the gharanas differences of the gharanas all this kind of thing is it was it was a great experience or you know i would say that you know every day till now i am i feel indebted to that old man that you know i had a chance to meet some years of my life and spend some some years of my life with him so <clears throat> i would say not only tabla music as a whole whole i learned as a whole i learned from him because i used to sit in the vocal classes also i think there was a, a, a rule there that each every student should attend all other classes like the vocal classes vocal students yes. should attend the tabla classes tabla students attend the vocal yes. classes like that yes and the approach to music is quite different than what uh, i used to see before coming to him so that opened kind of i mean that opened my eyes you know i used to learn uh, previously uh, from manik jethu who was a student of guruji only so manik jethu sent me to uh, guruji but as mm-hmm. soon as we went to guruji the first from the very first day the way he was explaining the tal the way mm-hmm. he was explaining the music not only the tal it kind of opened my eyes that look it's something much bigger than what i thought mm. i mean i i used to think that okay oh oh so the tabla the 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 okay fine this is tabla okay fine chalo bajao acha wo tin tal baja raha hai uske sath da na din din na na de na de na na de na na ek angli ka thaka that is thing that is music okay so i thought that um, okay so i can play angli one finger tin tal i can play dhir dhir very nicely i can play dhir dhir very nicely so i almost got uh, tabla you know so there, there is not much difference between me and uh, tirkwa khasa because tirkwa khasa is <laughs> uh, play is playing in that same speed and i am also <laughs> playing in that same speed so it's okay fine so uh, when i'll be going old people will like me but as soon as i went to him i felt the difference that you know well it's it's such a huge subject i am just nobody this sense of nothingness that you are just nobody came or i realized after going to him mm. and uh, he, the first thing he did automatically it came into my mind that my my head went down mm. that you know 
that you know well the subject is so big uh, that uh, anybody learning for the whole uh, lifetime is nothing so mm-hmm. nobody should be proud that i learned the music and i know a little bit and you just know nothing about that so that that feeling i got really intensively from him i mean he didn't give me that feeling but his words give me that gave me that feeling that you know this is the thing and he used to teach his teaching was totally different you know like that you know uh, he was the person who told me that you know when you are playing tabla you should know that you are you are you are helping another person and you are helping the audience okay to enjoy the music so you you know he is the captain of the team the singer or the thing you can be a man of the match you can you can play very good but he is the captain so you have to support him in such a when you are playing tabla you have to support him so the match goes up Mm. not that and at the same time be prepared whenever you sit with the tabla just devote your whole thing um bhagwan ke charan mein dal do you are just nobody you have that feeling and totally engrossed in music and be happy with the music where you are playing and then what happens if it radiates and everybody will be happy don't have to uh, make happy everybody you be happy with that music everybody will be happy because you are you are you are radiating that feeling from your mm-hmm. your playing so this kind of other than music things also he used to teach every day and another thing he used to tell us which i uh, tell to my students but you know very few people they do it and i have seen other big ustads also doing that bol padant yeah as soon as you get a bol you 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 say it maybe five times 10 times 20 times 25 times 100 times then you get the essence of the ball essence and then when you then when you play it's a different ball very people all these people nowadays they think that in as soon as they get they start playing and mm. uh, that was just not the thing in some of the class anjay uh, what used to happen is that uh, he used to there was some classes when there was no tabla only padant two hours three hours padant and uh, so at that time i would be very frank that i i didn't like it i said that oh you know i'm here to play tabla and guru ji is in padant now i thank every day for mm-hmm. doing that another thing he used to do it was very funny thing i would say he used to say one bowl three times very slowly da da ge ge na ge ding ne di na ge ge like that okay three times he close the book those who can write it you deserve it those who cannot write it you don't deserve it and then after that maybe after uh, two three classes he said okay how many people could not write that day okay write it down but try to do that so yeah. i then i i asked why he is doing this uh, but i was eager so i had a practice of you know writing down and at that time you have to write down the bowls you know writing down very quickly and he told me how to write down quickly uh, quickly quickly he said that you know you go to college you uh, take notes i said suppose the teacher is saying characteristics don't write characteristics write cross sticks that means characteristics so you somehow you you know shorten the writing so that you can follow the teacher so here also you write this much and then leave gap and then write what you hear this much and then next time write the gaps within three times you'll be able to fill up some people will was not doing that but i started following that and uh, even within two times i used to i had a habit of writing the whole thing that served me a such a big purpose why when i am playing with a dancer like vijay maharaj ji i'm playing he is t- telling one bowl so i have the habit of listening to the bowl and almost memorizing it within one or two times so i didn't know that and but he gave me that habit 
सो आई से से ओके महाराज जी और एक बार तो और एक बार जब बोला आई ऑलमोस्ट ग्रैब द होल बोल नॉट आई मीन इफ इट्स अ बिग बोल इट्स अ डिफरेंट थिंग बट इट्स अ स्मॉल वन ऑलमोस्ट आई नो सो देन आई थॉट इट स्टार्टेड थिंकिंग अबाउट दैट ग्रेट ओल्ड मैन यूज्ड टू डू दैट आई यूज्ड टू यू नो कट सीन दैट यू नो व्हाई ही इज क्लोजिंग द बुक बट नाउ आई थैंक हिम एवरी डे फॉर डूइंग दैट सो दिस काइंड ऑफ स्मॉल स्मॉल थिंग स्मॉल आई लर्न सो मच फ्रॉम दैट मैन and you know i think everybody uh, you know is grateful to in at least in west bengal everybody is grateful to him for bringing indian music and indian culture and indian classical music uh, and spreading it in a proper way in west bengal or in calcutta everybody yeah. should be grateful to gyan babu and really really that's a great story to hear suman bhai now i have a question to you like so your way of playing is very melodious and when i say you try to bring out the raga essence or the raga emotions of your instrument so what does comes to your mind when you when you try to portray a raga how do you build up the emotion of the, the raga is there any process or anything going in your mind or you just go with the present that situation or the emotion that you are in at that at that very moment you know it's playing playing raga to me it's kind of worship or it's a meditation of course before that you have to learn the raga what to do what not to do what are the notes and the shrutis and like other things the movements technical and, things yeah and i believe like one raga it's not possible to play sing or play just learning one time if you learn one raga then after years of you know receiving the talims from guru ji uh, listening from other great musicians and also you know realizing and practicing mm. then it comes little bit mm. so, so that how that's, so so one question here comes is like how much is important to listen to the other masters so for as your music is concerned how much is listen is important oh it's very important very important to hear like other musicians because <laughs> what my guru ma used to say mainly my guru ma used to say you need to listen to other people's because you don't be a xerox copy of your gurus to make yourself uh you, you have to have a more individualistic approach to build your own style you need to listen to other musicians so that's what she used to suggest uh, me to listen to other musicians listen to kishori tai because i am fortunate enough to have all these great great masters coming into my guru's house and just doing seva to them like malika arjun mansur ji kishori tai binchen joshi swarshini karatkar ji gangu bai ji name the masters they are they are in, in my guru ji's house and i am so lucky to have them so how much do you think this helps in building up a, a musicality it, it helps a lot but i i believe one thing that when when you are listening mm. you have to listen knowingly but not unknowingly when 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 i started uh, you know taking lessons from my guruji then my guru ji said from now like 2 years don't listen to anybody not even the radio mm. i said why guru ji so he said right now you played one little piece some part is like pandit nikhil banerji another yes. part is like ravi shankar ji other part is like ustad ali akbar khan what is this you do not have your your identity where are you well where are you i said i don't know what to what to do uh, that's how i play then guru ji said you know from from now two years don't listen don't go to any concert don't even listen to yes. the radio so after two years then he said now i think you can go and listen to the other musicians now now you you'll know that 
what what are you listening hmm. before that you are going to the concert but you, you didn't know you just hmm. copy it copy it hmm. little copy the things so we shouldn't copy we should learn the music the way they are doing the the soul of the music the beauty of the music so yeah. that that's my realization my feelings great great now vijit the one one question to you now you are doing a wonderful job job with your academy which you have established in already in kolkata and now it's a big organization in usa too so how did it came to your mind and and you were doing a great job in in the way of remembering uh, padma bhushan gan prakash ji through this dhoni academy and how did it came up to your mind and how did it happen well uh, in calcutta i was teaching uh, um, i never like to teach hmm. at the very beginning uh, very to be very frank hmm. program karenge ghar mein aa jayenge and uh, you know teaching i never liked but slowly and gradually i started teaching um, and i i started loving teaching and now when i start love uh, to, uh, you know i st- started to teach i started loving it then i thought that i should do an organization and uh, why the organization came into my mind the main thing behind that i was doing a tour in europe uh, in england especially uh, with asian music circuit asian and music, uh, and is here viram jasani and uh, one, jasani, yeah. uh, and and in the morning i went to uh, some of the schools where uh, mentally retarded and this kind of people were teaching i uh, were uh, in their school so we played there and suddenly some of these students started uh, reacting in a different way some of them became violent some of them became very you know happy most of them they became very happy some of them started you know they react in a different way okay. so uh, i thought that you know these people they are devoid of music and, and 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 but my music a small gesture of you know sound you know are creating so much of impact to these people which is very genuine because when i i play in a concert maybe it's doing the same thing on the other public but it's not coming out like that so the people they they are they are civilized people they listen and then they go back you know they talk whatever they like and uh, don't like but these people are reacting that means music has enormous effect on this on human uh, and 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 any living creature so i thought that okay so i at that time i decided that i uh, let me do something for the people uh, who does not have this chance of you know um, doing it regularly i came back and i came to calcutta and i started um, finding some of the organizations but none of them were interested to have music in their classes so i uh, used to live in behala and there is a school uh, blind boys academy so That's i went true. i went there i said that you know can i do a class in the evening uh ek ghanta one hour i will do a class and those the blind people or the visually challenged people if they want to come and they learn it's free of cost and i started it every wednesday one hour and some of the st- students used to come and they started then i used to donate tabla and they started coming i used to you know teach a little bit of vocal music they started coming so slowly it's it started growing and yeah. then I, i i i told one of my student that please teach here and then i thought that i should have an organization which will you know fund these things because it's all from my pocket so i started that organization when i started organization naturally people started coming to learn from me i loved at that time mm-hmm. i started loving teaching so uh, i said that okay be become a member support this organization so that i can support this kind of activity then everybody started it so that's how the kolkata school started growing and then i thought that you know my guru ji passed away then i thought that uh, let me do one small concert in his name whatever i learned whatever way i can uh, give 
So I did two things. One, uh, a regular concert for last now, maybe 13 years I'm doing, 13, 14 years every year in his name. It's not a huge concert. Sometimes it becomes huge when I get money. Sometimes it becomes so small when I don't get money. But it there is, and I got help from everybody, all my friends, all the big, uh, yeah, my sense. elderly people, yeah, all the people. And I, um, so it's, that is one part of it. And then, um, and then I give a scholarship to the, these blind people uh, from this organization. And I give, uh, um, sorry. Okay. Uh, and then uh, I give, uh, um, uh, a scholarship, uh, uh, some money in my old guru's name, Manikpal, uh, to uh, to somebody uh, who who has donated or who has given so much in our classical music world. So Kichlu Sab, uh, we awarded him and something like that, you know. Anyway, Buddha Kaka, we awarded. Now, uh, then I came to West and uh, I I used to come here every 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 year, two, three times. And from Monday to Thursday, I was not doing anything when Friday, Saturday, Sunday concert, you know, in the USA. So one day my good friend Kalaram not told me that we are opening Pandijasa School of Music mm -hmm. uh, in Tampa. I said, no, Tampa, Kunjaga, oh, that is something like Kolkata, it's sweating. I don't want to go. I, I am very happy in Calcutta. Now it started going like that. Later, I took out, cut, I made the long story short. Um, the, they started a school in Los Angeles. And this is this is one city I, I really liked. And the offer came to me. Would you like to join? I said, then I, I came here and I started teaching Pandit Jasa School of Music here in Los Angeles. Then, uh, unfortunately, this Pandit Jasa School of Music got closed for some, some reason. So I went back to India, but some of the students, they requested me that, why don't you carry on? I said, no. you know, I, how do I, I mean, I don't want to be involved in all this kind of thing. He said that, okay, we will open our organization and you'll be a part of that. Then they opened the same organization in the name, same name, Dwani. And mm. then they invited me as one of the directors and I started the school here almost 14 years back. And uh, so now the organization is going here. We have a Los Angeles branch, then San Francisco also a little bit small. And a uh, little bit, you know, some of the students are also in New York. So that's how it is working. But our main uh, purpose, uh, one of the main purpose I would say, is to uh, in, help those kind of uh, uh, musically aspirants in India, who doesn't get uh, normal? So it is uh, not only in visually challenged. Now we are teaching in some of the red light areas and all these kind of places in Calcutta. And I uh, printed a book on tabla in Braille, mm -hmm. which is for uh, you know for in Hindi, Bengali, and English. Mm -hmm. uh, and I distribute it free of cost all over the world. Uh, we have a rights to me, uh, we distribute it so that the visually challenged people, they can, and in the braille, they can just read it and write it. So this is one of the main purpose of my Calcutta Academy. And here we promote music and, you know, we try to teach. Like yeah. that. But this is so mainly a tabla. Yeah. So that's, that's great. The nice stories from both of you. So how do you develop and doing a lot in memory of your gurus, you need. We need as a as a student or as a disciple, we need to keep our gurus alive with us. So that's what that's why our Suru Murchana is organizing the concert to yes to remember yes. our. We need your support and blessings and everything so that we can move forward in our onward journey. And thank you, Suman Bhai, and thank you, Vijit, for being here, here us with us today, and also for being a part of this festival. We are really honored and blessed to have you too. And Ovijit, I need your blessings and Sumanva, your your best wishes and support and everything means, means a lot to us, means a lot to us. So thank you and please bless us with your wonderful words or two. Thank you so much, Sanjay Bhai. Th <clears throat> Thanks for inviting us. 
thanks to abhijit da pandit abhijit banerjee for nice story and his experience yeah that's a learning story for us yeah and thanks to shuramorchana for bringing you know this beautiful event well sanjay uh, thank you very much for inviting me uh, to play uh, in a concert which is dedicated in the name of our own kanan sab because he was such a lovable person such a respected person and thanks uh, thank to you uh, to organize such a huge event throughout the year in his name thank you no, we really, just I need really, you no no we are really grateful to you that you thought of it and doing it because so i Karan started Saab... actually in from from 2007 or on what actually it was started by my guru ma the name suramuchana was given by guru ma so under the blessings of auspicious blessings of her we started the concert even though and also at that time maybe maybe i'll tell a story here because at that time shubhash kapoor in shubhash chakraborty was our minister the sports minister he was yeah. one of the main person behind me who helped in building up this organization in kolkata he helped in advertisement and everything because he loved guruji so much he loved guruji yeah. very much and that's why he helped me okay you are doing this let me help you with advertisements this thing and he gave me enough of he raised enough of money to do the first concert second concert after that he passed away then it became the situation became very really difficult for me but with again with the help of the students there in kolkata and now with the help of shampa mani gopa all the board members all the students we are sure that we are will be doing good will be filled actually i have on um, on the in music music fraternity um, on behalf of music fraternity i would also thank all the members of new york i know how hard it is to maintain and raise money and to do concerts this kind of thing and to 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 go on to carry on the activities that you are doing and special thanks that you are doing in the name of kanan sab because we will never you know we will always miss him his yeah. love his affection his music his uh, uh and and also malvika ji because uh, we we are so fortunate to see and experience their uh, you know uh, their uh, music and all this kind of thing i used to go to him you know that you know uh, even in the rat ko no baje i used to go uh, yeah, to guru ji's no. house and he used to uh, so uh, and i have seen you especially to do so much of seva to both of them i have seen that and still you are doing that and please keep on doing you will get much just from you just from bless guru just just blessings you i need from you and best wishes from someone bhai so that it's no, something no. they need they definitely need they we need to keep their name alive and everything it's our duty to do so and vijit da suman bhai you are both are trying in your own ways to keep that thing and and, and you are doing lot of great activities thank you thank you from suramochana thank you no, no, thank, thank you thank you, you sanjay bhai and in a pranam to your guruji and guruma and i was so fortunate to go few times to your guruji's house and also i like to thanks the board members of Shur- suramochana mr mani and um, other people sampa ji <laughs> so thank you so much thank you thank you okay all the best thank for the concert you.